Yes, yes we played. I played. First time I went, I played 44 concerts in three months. And uh, the Australian concert world was sort of ruled by the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, which was marvelous. But when you were going, you would get a letter saying, we'd need uh, oh, eight programs, seven programs. Full recital form? Yes, because according to the law, as much as I can understand of it, in, stand it in, uh, in Australia, because everybody pays such a high fee for each radio they have at home and for each TV, then all the things that the ABC presented as a presenter uh, had to be presented broadcast live. Well, you couldn't play. Oh, yes, you were on the air every time you played. Wow. Oh, absolutely. On, on radio? Yes. Okay. No. Absolutely, there was no question about it. Every concert. So, was then, so then the audience in Perth might have... Could hear you play. That's why you had to have different programs all the time. When you go to a different yes. venue, you should play a different program. Yes. And very often, you know, You'd stay in a principal city, like in Sydney or in, uh, what's the other one, the other big city in Australia. The, good God. Melbourne. Melbourne, thank you. You'd stay in Melbourne for quite a while. But besides playing in Melbourne, every morning a car would come to your hotel and your ABC official who was with you, you got up and you drove 100 or 200 miles, you were driven, and you arrived to, to the concert hall. Sometimes you had to look at the program and see what I'm playing tonight, and then you drove back a afterwards. 200 miles, they would drive you and you... you yes, know. absolutely. And then when you get home, it's the middle of the night, or... or yes, absolutely, very, very... No, I can't complain about it. I mean, it was a marvelous... It's a marvelous experience for, for a young performer. It's a big test, and it's a, it was wonderful. I've done it several times, and I think it's just wonderful training and, and a, a wonderful professional experience.